also lemon. Ah, that's right. <laughs> wow. And this is on the first shot you're asking these questions. <laughs> Maybe I'll repeat the question. Where, where are we going <laughs> after this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that any way of telling stories matters. So the way that we communicate with each other and give each other meaning is through stories and poetry is just one form of telling stories. So I do think that it matters and I don't think that just telling stories in one way, like um, it'd be like if the only movies you could ever see were Disney animated films. Was that a good answer? I can remember the worst introduction to a poem I've ever heard. That's, this is not an anti-abortion poem, but... <laughs> so I've had times when I've momentarily forgot something and you just, just pause and nine times out of ten the audience doesn't notice. Uh, I've had other times when I have forgotten a line and then I've had to skip something and again they don't notice that I've skipped part of part of what I wanted to perform. Um, I've had a couple of occasions when I've frozen up and that, but not that many, fortunately. Yeah. I think there is a there's an element of performance poetry and slam poetry that is very political and, and bland in my mind. So there's, a, there's a, a strain that to me is trying to tell me what to think rather than encourage me to think. So that's, that's the part of performance poetry that doesn't appeal to me. You know, I'd never, I don't know that I'd start a feud, but if you had to pick sides of a room, then I'd be on the other side of the room. Well, she writes really bad poetry. And if you haven't if you haven't read her poetry, then um, just Google Gina Reinhart poetry, and then <laughs> because she has written poetry. Publicly. Yes. <laughs>